Hey guys, Chris from MMORPG.com here, and in this video, we're taking a look at the DropX Sennheiser PC38X gaming headset. It's the second gaming headset Drop has released with Sennheiser, but is only the latest in a line of successful audiophile-grade headphones they partnered on. It builds upon the popular PC37X I reviewed last year to become the highest tier offering in Drop's PC lineup. It offers a lot of enhancements, but comes in at $170, which puts it in the upper tier of gaming headsets today. So let's take a closer look and hopefully help you find out if they're worth it. Now if you've seen the PC37X, you'll find the 38X immediately reminiscent, but one isn't replacing the other. Instead, this is its own headset, which now sits atop Drops lineup as their leading gaming headset. The two headsets look a lot alike with these oval ear cups and this big microphone, but as you've probably noticed, the PC38X has this stylish new black and yellow look around the open backs and microphone. Now this is already turning out to be pretty polarizing among the community. Personally, I don't really mind it, but if I was using it for work, that would probably be a problem. And I'm not a fan of the yellow and black checkered cables either. Now where these are real winners though is comfort. At 253 grams, they're light and the headband is now split into two smaller cushions to eliminate pressure on the top of your head. You'll also have your choice of cushions with these velour pads I currently have installed, or this woven mesh that's a bit more breathable if you're gaming where it's hot. When it comes to sound signature with these pads though, I couldn't really hear a difference, but I'm a budding audiophile, if that, so your mileage may vary. The drivers here though are real winners making their way down from the GSP lineup. Now I've reviewed just about every GSP headset there is, and they've all sounded great. But where those headsets looked more cyborg than sleek, the PC38X brings things back down to earth, albeit a little more bumblebee. Still, they're just as capable, but the tuning here has been tweaked to raise the bass, middle highs, and straight treble. Practically speaking, this means things like footsteps and enemy callouts pop out in the mix, which can provide a real competitive advantage in games like Call of Duty Warzone. And the sound stage here is just excellent due to this open back design. Playing PUBG, I felt like I was right in the middle of the desert and could clearly tell the direction of engine sounds and gunshots where all of them were coming from without the need for virtual surround sound. In enclosed environments, like hiding out in houses, the sound didn't become overly reverby like it does with some virtual surround sound gaming headsets, letting me hear exactly where enemies were coming from. This is a headset that shows exactly why good stereo is better than cheap surround sound any day of the week. For music and movies, they're also great. I wouldn't describe them as the most accurate. They're not. In fact, they're far from neutral, but they definitely fall into what I would consider fun, with good punch for low-end heavy music and those big cinematic moments in action movies. And at the same time, you're not sacrificing out on detail or dialogue, which makes these a great all-around headphone. So, what I don't like about them so much. Number one, this volume wheel. It feels a little too loose to me without enough resistance. It also doesn't mute your audio when you turn it all the way down. The mic is also only good. It appears to be the same one that was on the 37X, which is a good thing. It's clear, it has better sound than a lot of what you're gonna hear on gaming headsets today, but the market has evolved quite a bit since the PC37X released, and with headsets like the Audio-Technica ATH G1WL offering similar quality without any wires whatsoever, it's good, but it's just not as impressive as it used to be. Have a listen for yourself. You're now listening to the microphone on the DropX Sennheiser PC38X gaming headset. It offers good noise cancelling without overdoing the compression. I wouldn't use it for streaming, but it's a great fit for Discord calls and playing games with your friends. All that said, it's hard to argue that the PC38X is anything other than a great headset. It's comfortable, it sounds great, and it offers tangible benefits to competitive gamers, all without relying on software-based surround sound. At $170, it does not come cheap, but it's definitely one of the better headsets out there today and is a solid upgrade over the PC37X. With that said, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more, and be sure to visit us over at MMORPG.com for daily gaming tech reviews. See you later, everybody.